interesting. What about this? Alchemy is the ancient version of modern chemistry, and the word chemistry is based on alchemy. One of the goals of alchemy is to convert base metals into noble metals, particularly gold. Like the scenes in the animation, but I'm more interested in the products. It's similar, but today we will mainly focus on the alchemy in ancient China. In ancient China, alchemy had been popularly used for more than two thousand years. People believed that taking pills made of heavy metals can help them achieve immortality. As early as the Han Dynasty, people started carrying out thousands and millions of chemical reactions to make immortality pills. I always see people making pills in wuxia movies. They said those pills can deal with any disease. Oh, later you will find out the truth about those pills. The first writing about alchemy dated back to the end of the Han Dynasty, and it briefly described the change of appearance of mercury. When it was heated in different conditions like evaporation and reaction with sulfur, here is the original saying. This term means mercury, so it's talking about the boiling of mercury when the liquid mercury evaporates to a gaseous form. This term means sulfur compound. This sentence describes the reaction between mercury and sulfur, which results in a solid mercury sulfur. Another writing in the Jin Dynasty. Mentioned that the best ingredients for making pills are cinnabar, followed by gold, silver, and so on. Wait, these are all heavy metals that disrupt body metabolic functions. I can imagine how many people died during the process. By the way, why not gold? It is much more expensive than mercury. Well, the ancient perception of choosing these metals to make pills was just based on their observation on the metal's observable changes, instead of really understanding the chemistry behind. They perceived many reactions as miracles. Although so many people had died during the process, the ancients didn't link it up to the use of those heavy metals, as they lacked scientific knowledge. Take a look at this sentence. The ancients believed that. Mercury is the best for making pills, as they observed the various changes of mercury after some types of reaction. After heating, the red mercury sulfide turns into a silvery liquid. However, the liquid obtained turns to a black solid when mixed with sulfur, and the black solid turns red when put in a closed container. The red solid is mercury sulfide, and the silvery liquid is mercury, due to the lack of scientific knowledge. They thought that mercury is special among the other metal. As a result, they thought using such a metal to make pills can allow people to achieve immortality. So, what's the chemistry behind it? The changes between mercury and mercury sulfide is a redox reaction. When mercury sulfide is heated, the sulfide is oxidized to form sulfur dioxide. When sulfur is added to the mercury, the mercury is oxidized to form mercury sulfide. Actually. Redox reactions are common in chemistry. The ancients didn't know about it and believed they could make immortality pills using such metals with various color-changing properties. For example, there was a pill called Gao Jun Wan Dan. The ancients repeated the cycle more than nine times to make it. They believed such pills can help the patients recover from all kinds of diseases and also help healthy people live longer. Interesting. Does repeating the cycle of reaction means upgrading the pills to them? Yes, the ancient have a view that the more the cycle repeated, the more effective the pills are. However, the chemical properties of the pills didn't change over the cycles. In fact, all compounds containing mercury are highly toxic. Other pills containing heavy metals are also poisonous too. As you take in such pills year after year. Those metals accumulate in your body. You will soon die because of heavy metal poisoning. See, chemistry can save your life. Now I understand why chemistry is important. Learning chemistry can prevent us from being misled. If the ancient had learned chemistry, I believe they would rather have these chocolate balls. Right. At least you won't be poisoned.